Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17, and if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time, and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Shitgame Blaze, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. Today we have another review of the AMD Adrenaline Drivers, this time the 21.3.1. As I say in all my videos, 21 is the year 2021, 3 is the month, March, and 1 is the revision in that month, so the first revision of March. That and my dog and cat like walking and this way and that way. Anyway, this driver brings lots of fixed issues, uh, I mean really lots, and the, the release notes are huge and bring lots of things. Woo! And to help me with that, I'm using my mother's tablet. What a badass. <laughs> anyway, as for the release notes, this driver brings support to the AMD RX 6700 series graphics, Doom Eternal Ancient Gods Part 2, the Radeon Boost and the Radeon Anti-Lag now work with DirectX 12 and we have a really interesting tool which is the Performance Tuning Stress Test which is inbuilt in the AMD driver so basically when you're now, uh, let's say you are overclocking, you want to know if your, if your GPU overclocking is stable or not you can use the stress test, just click on the icon saying stress test and uh, the stress test will begin right after you actually uh, select the time you want to stress test. I would advise no less than like 5 minutes, at least 5 minutes. They also had a lot of Vulkan supported extensions, which is pretty nice. And as for the, the fixed issues we have, Radeon software may sometimes have higher CPU, expected CPU utilization, even when the system is at idle. So, this happened a lot uh, to some users, never happened to me, but some users and some users that I know personally, it seems that this problem is finally fixed. Finally. We also have another important problem fix, which is basically related to Oculus, and it is a system hang or crash may be experienced when upgrading Radeon software, while a VR headset is connected to your system on Radeon GCN graphics products. Okay, so that seems to be fixed. Great. And like I said, there are a lot of fixes, you can see you can see them on the release notes, but there is an important one, which is a black screen may occur when enabling and disabling enhanced sync while vSync is enabled in some Vulkan API games, and a black screen or system hang may occur on hybrid graphics settings for some Vulkan API games when enhanced sync is enabled. So that's a pretty nice fix that some people were hoping for. Great, once again. If you want to read the others, go to the release notes, link in the description. Also, we still have some known issues, of course. Known issues are always there for AMD, for Intel, for Nvidia, for any brand, any brand, any product has known issues, and we still have them here. And for example, enabling vSync in Rocket League and setting the game to use borderless full screen may cause stuttering or ghosting. So that's a problem. And we have more with an enhanced sync with the RX 400 and 500 series cards, for example, with extended, with extended periods of playback, video playback. So that's not um, an optimal setting, but, but well, it's better than nothing. So uh, we have lots of fixed issues and we hope that the next driver brings even more. Now let's go to the really juicy part, which is the disclaimer. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I never saw any kind of disclaimer like this in the previous driver versions. But if you saw, if you've seen it, just tell me because I really want to know. But this is the really juicy part. So, disclaimer, GD106, overclocking AMD processors including without limitation, altering clock frequency slash multipliers or memory timing slash voltage to operate beyond their stock specifications will void any applicable AMD product warranty even when such overclocking is enabled via AMD hardware and slash or software. Now, no, 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 no. This is pretty annoying and pretty stupid in, in the same time. And I'll tell you why, easily. So as far as CPU frequencies and voltages, I completely understand that because some people uh, will just push lots 
of extreme voltages on CPUs and they will degrade and then they will send uh, the CPUs to warranty and so on. That I can understand. What I can't understand is actually the memory timings part. Memory timings. I mean, you can never, and I repeat, you can never break a CPU by, let's say, reduced timings. You can never break a CPU like that. That's fucking stupid. If they say uh, memory voltage, still the same shit. You can't break a CPU by applying lots of memory voltage. You can maybe do it by applying lots of sock voltage. That may do it, but it still needs an extreme amount of voltage to actually fuck the CPU up. So that's another thing, but that's that has nothing to do with memory timings. Uh, and they are talking about the, um, the normal specifications, the, the default specifications of the CPU. So if we look into the IMC, the normal specification, Ryzen 3000 series and Ryzen 5000 series have a native IMC frequency of 3200 MHz. So, if you buy a 3600 MHz RAM kit and apply XMP, then you will void your warranty, because the XMP, the 3600 MHz, is above the native IMC frequency of 3200 MHz. So basically, you're overclocking and that will void the warranty, which is fucking nuts. It's even more brainless because AMD themselves, them bird. <laughs> and now he, he shut up. He just talks when I when I talk. Now, like I was saying, it is even more brainless since the AMD themselves uh, actually advise the 3600 megahertz or 3733 megahertz as the sweet spot in terms of memory frequency for Ryzen chips, Ryzen 3000 and Ryzen 5000 chips. So that means that if you follow AMD's own advice, you will void your CPU warranty. Once again, fucking stupid. Now let's be fair, apart from really high voltages that may degrade your CPU, AMD or any other store has no way of actually uh, proving that you were overclocking your CPU, so this is just bollocks most of the time. But it is just stupid that they need to actually put that disclaimer there, mostly in terms of timings, like I said. The CPU voltage, the CPU frequency and voltage part, I can understand, but the timings part, the memory timings part and voltage is just, like I said several times, stupid. Now, these new drivers bring lots of new things, cool features, more performance, in this case more performance for the RX 6800 in some games once again, maybe more performance for the RX 6700 or 6700 XT, I don't have one but AMD said they would send me one next week maybe, um, but they bring more performance, lots of fix fixed issues, lots of them, and they have the stress test features for the overclocks, which I think... Uh, which I think it is really, really awesome. The stress test feature is a thing that uh, we actually wanted, we needed most of times, and it is pretty nice to have a stress test feature inside the brand's own uh, software, in this case, the AMD Adrenaline Kit, which is pretty nice once again. Also, I forgot to tell you one thing. Now, on the, the temperatures part, on the performance tab, the temperatures part where you're going to overclock, you also have um, at least for the RX 6800 that you didn't have before and you now have the auto overclock, the auto memory overclock, the auto overclock for core, voltage, memory, whatever, and the auto undervolt. We didn't have that before and that is now presented on the, the newest drivers and we also have a question mark now on the, I think it is a question mark, now on the, um, on the core and junction temperatures. So basically they will just tell us uh, what it is, what it means, the core temperature and the junction temperature, which, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice to know and that's pretty nice to have on AMD's own software. So guys, with all this done, don't forget hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section, let me know, let me and us as a community know your experience with these newest AMD drivers uh, and let's go to the performance tests with once again the RX 6800 and the RX 5700 XT. See you in the next video guys.
Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. The hell? No. All right. No way. Listen close. Sorry. Scanning a I serious can't. job now. No. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job?